Whoa. Taika Watiti, the ultra woke director of Thor Love and Thunder and several other Marvel films and uh, has had a part in What We Do in the Shadows and uh, his movie Jojo Rabbit, I think was really good, uh, has got himself into a bit of a trouble. This is after dubbing himself, uh, according to him, the, the king of, of, what is it? Um, I want to get this right. He called himself a gay icon only to be canceled the day of his marriage. I've often said this about a lot of very progressive people that uh, they wear their quote unquote progressivism as uh, a shield, as a, a tool to uh, sh uh, get away with being just awful people. And it always is very apparent when they talk about people from the other side of the political aisle um, and this is a uh, not a good day for Tycho Watiti. By the way, we're live streaming today. Me and Sydney Watson at uh, 5 p.m. Central, so probably two hours after I release this video. I'd really love to see you there. Uh, and um, well, here's a story. It's right here on the main channel, so just come back then. We're talking about Twitter stuff, the IRS, and um, some some doctors have come out against. Some, some blockers, I think it'll be interesting. Marvel director Taika Waititi has come under fire for resurfaced anti-trans tweets and for deadnaming Caitlyn Jenner. Now, deadnaming is the new uh, world's worst thing you can do to anybody on the planet. Uh, essentially, once a trans individual decides they want to change their name, whatever their old name is, you're not allowed to use it. Even if by mistake, it can lead to social media bans. Um, people can do it in a accidental way, which is most of the time. People can also weaponize it, which is exactly what Taika Waititi did. Um, people, I see people on the right do it too. Um, I don't love that. It seems like kind of a low blow. It's like calling someone fat or something like that. But, you know, sometimes it's hard to feel bad for people. Um, and Taika is, is incessantly woke. Um, talked about, uh, you know, Thor Love and Thunder being the, the gayest movie of all time. And you know, it barely made any money. Thor, Thor of all things, barely made any money. Unearthed tweets from almost a decade ago drew criticism for shaming trans women and beauty pageant contestants. A tweet from all the way back in January 16th, 2013 reads, no disrespect to men who want to be slash dress as a woman. I should have just said their makeup looks manly. Also, no disrespect to meth users. Not exactly sure what that's in reference to. The Matthews remark followed an earlier rant in which he criticized beauty pageant contestants, writing, combing, combining heels and bikini whilst plastering your face in orange so you resemble a, a leather pudding is totes empowering. He was called at the time when a fellow Twitter user wrote, uh, <laughs> shaming, phobia, and immense misogyny all in one tweet, but dude, not cool. And Taika wrote back, no, it's not cool. So he doubled down on it. I, this is such a, like, this is what happens when you, it's like your classic live by the sword, die by the sword scenario, where like, I just don't pay any people, these kind of people, any mind. I don't pander to them in my viewership. I don't want soft people uh, watching my videos. I don't want people who are perpetually offended as subscribers. And therefore, when I run across one on social media or whatever, they're easy to disregard. The problem is with a lot of these uh, woke people is uh, they pander to them exclusively. You know, the the um, stands uh, accounts are, are generally uh, super young, super progressive uh, snowflake type people. These are people that are still seeing Marvel movies, so they pander to them. Kara wrote, no, Taika, it's not cool. You need to apologize. My trans friend who struggles with thoughts of self-deletion daily due to similar comments hardly think so. Taika responds, quote, my trans friends can walk in heels, but you're right. Actual Kathoe are better looking. Oh, Kathoe is a word used in Thailand for trans women. A tweet from April, 2015, dead named Caitlyn Jenner days after she came out as a trans woman. Now, Caitlyn Jenner has been one of the best uh, litmus tests for progressives uh, that I've ever seen. The way that they'll make phobic comments, they'll deadname her, uh, all this stuff. 
Why? Because Caitlyn Jenner is a conservative. Um, so they feel like it's okay. You know, they don't have to play by their own rules. It's one of those things that like, as I get older, I get tired of living up to principles. It's tiring. Uh, like when the, when these people don't live by their own standards and they, they make it apparent every day, but they expect me to live by it. Right. You can't dead name people unless they're conservative is essentially the, essentially the rule. Dead naming is when someone refers to a trans or non-binary person by a name they used to prior to transitioning, such as a birth name. Uh, Taika wrote, we'll all be wearing Jesus Jenner badges by the end of the day. Hey, say Suiz? I This was Caitlin, apparently. The post might not reflect Taika's current way of thinking. Mail Online has contacted a spokesperson for his content. Taika is well known, is now known for his LGBTQ storytelling, both in Thor, Love and Thunder and HBO Max series, Our Flag Means Death, which I, th which I think got canceled. I think it got canceled. And speaking about his reasons, he told Out Magazine, we're all queer, just to varying degrees of where we are on the spectrum, I think. I think innately humans have some degree of queerness in them. I actually don't think that. I think that innately, most humans are driven by biology. Now considered as by some as a gay icon, he said, I love it. I mean, I'm just amazed to hear what my friends think of me. I'll be like, hey guys, you're looking at a little gay icon over here. And it feels really amazing. In Thor, Taika voices a gay character called Korg. Fans have questioned how Korg's all-male species could be gay uh, because the storyline doesn't seem to match up with his family or background in past movies. Here's, here's the answer. They don't care. Marvel has never cared about uh, lore or canon if, if they can cram some progressive nonsense in there. Oh, by the way, I just got an email uh, this morning. I know that there's some people on the waiting list for the Roaster's Choice program. We just opened 25 more spots. Um, this is the, like, the ultra premium monthly coffee club. Um, we've had like a Rwandan blend. We had a delicious Sumatra the other day. Um, it, there's only like five or 600 available spots. Just read the reviews. I'll leave a link to the Roaster's Choice program. If you wanted to get in, today is going to be the day because it's going to close up. Um, we're going to run out of spots, but um, we've got a delicious blend coming for you in August. Gay icon Thor director under fire for anti-trans tweets and going after Caitlyn Jenner when that was still bad. You know, it's, it's interesting to me, you know, 2015, which isn't quite as long ago, he dead named Caitlyn Jenner. You know, it's, it's, I saw him trending and look, I, the thing is like, you see what a uh, Tycho directed Thor Love and Thunder, which is in Brandon quote, the gayest Marvel movie ever by people who care about such things. Thor was so gay that it caused people to cancel Chris Pratt again for the usual dumb reasons why they cancel Chris Pratt. The director said it feels really amazing to be a gay icon, but that was before tweets from nine years ago resurfaced and he made the mistake of having so many have made before and cracked a joke on Twitter. Now, again, I don't, I'm not offended by it, but if you want to hold Taika Waititi to his own standard, uh, he's just done something absolutely terrible. He's done the worst thing you could possibly do. And you can, it's funny to see like, you know, the really progressive online news outlets really aren't saying a lot about it because it's like, they'll say, oh, well, he's overall good for us. So we won't hold him to the same standard that we hold, a, hold anyone else. You see the independent road, Taika Waititi's tweets about trans people have raised difficult questions about retroactive shaming. So difficult questions about retro, are you saying now now, because it's Taika Watiti, it's one of yours, suddenly canceling people over years old tweets is something that we have to look at. And it, it raises difficult questions about it. It's like, no, shaming people over tweets from millions of years old was never okay. But it was, it was okay for you to do it in the media when you were pushing a particular agenda. But when they come for one of yours, now it raises, quote unquote, difficult questions and it makes it difficult for you to uh to 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 decide if you're going to cancel somebody or not
I'm all for holding people to their own level of standards. So hashtag cancel Tycho with TD. But uh, it's hilarious to see the media suddenly question whether or not they should be canceling people just because it's one of their own now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope if you're waiting on Roaster's Choice, you can get in today. Make sure you sign up today. It's probably going to get closed again. And we'll talk to you again real soon.